you know what my favourite smell is? <laughs> Lynx Africa. <laughs> I genuinely love Lynx Africa. People are like, oh, why? It's disgusting. It's cheap and smells of teenage boys. Exactly. <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, which is why it was quite a big mental hurdle for me to get my head around the idea that me and my husband were going to try for a baby. Like, having sex and trying to get pregnant, that is like the opposite of what I've been trying to do <laughs> since I was about 16. <laughs> and there's other younger people in the room, right? You know what I mean. You have only ever known a time in your life when you're trying not to get pregnant or trying not to get somebody else pregnant. And I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but on both accounts, I fucking smashed it. <laughs> I think it comes down to skill set at the end of the day, doesn't it? People are just good at different things. Some people are good at the violin. Some people are good at parallel parking. I was very good at taking the pill. <laughs> every day, every day, every day. <laughs> Honestly, I used to think I was so good at taking the pill, I deserved a reward. Arguably, there was a reward. It was the reward of not having to watch Peppa Pig or cleaning up another human's shit. <laughs> Tell you what I don't understand, right? It's women who are on the pill and forget to take it. Don't get that. Because don't get me wrong, I forget things. I forget my keys, my wallet, the fact I'm married. Sure! <laughs> but forgetting to take something that can prevent you from creating a human that could one day say, turn the machines off, is what she would have wanted. <laughs> to remember that one, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, it does happen, though. Women forget to take the pill, they get knocked up. Happened to a girl I used to work with, actually, when I used to work in an office, right? And we were chatting about it one day. She was so blasé, we're in the kitchen. She's just standing there rubbing her belly like, well, the thing is, I've just got really bad memory. <laughs> I was thinking, that's funny, because every day without fail, you remember to steal my milk. Maybe if you'd strapped your packet of microgynin to my semi-skimmed. <laughs> Stephen in accounts wouldn't be telling everyone how you trapped him. <laughs> but I think the reason I was always very good at remembering to take the pill, because I've been on it for so long, I was on it since I was about 16, and the reason I started taking it was because I was going out with my first boyfriend, Kevin Sutherland, a boom chicka wow wow. <laughs> He was quite the catch. Um, he had a Peugeot 106 <laughs> and a tattoo of Bart Simpson, which I thought showed a great joie de vivre. <laughs> and things were going very well between Kevin and I. Uh, we had matching bracelets from Argos, so you can tell how serious we were. <laughs> and we'd agreed that we were going to do it for the first time, right? So I was like, right, I put myself on the pill because my first time is going to be really special. My first time is going to be just like in the movies. So the big day arrived, and Kevin, bless him, he made such an effort for everything to be really perfect. Like, he paid his little brother to leave the room. <laughs> to this day, the most romantic thing a man has ever done for me. <laughs> and he made a mix CD of all of our favourite romantic songs. You know, like, boom, 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 let me hear you say, wayo. <laughs> and as we lay down on his single bed, with his Liverpool FC duvet cover on it. <laughs> the scent of Lynx Africa heavy in the air. <laughs> and as Kevin took my virginity so beautifully and gently and quickly <laughs> from behind. <laughs> thinking, wow, just like in the movies. <laughs> Obviously, it's quite difficult to make eye contact in that position, isn't it? Almost felt like I lost my virginity to Steven Gerrard. 